Today is like a new chapter for the tech block office and a new chapter for the channel I would say because everything has changed as you can probably see bro there's like mad RGB everywhere and like it syncs up with Razer although I have some criticisms about this LED light strip from Ulight it's kind of weird maybe mine's defective or something but I've gone ahead and moved the setup guys this might seem controversial I don't know why it would seem controversial really but like I went ahead and moved it I was thinking about doing this yeah for very very long multiple months I'm thinking I'm like should I like move maybe my bed to that room or something and then like move the setup here and I finally did it and the bed I think I'm gonna leave it here man we've kind of made a different use for the office at the moment I can't believe it man right there's a lot to go over there's a lot to talk about I don't even know where to begin maybe the bad cable management but see I want to make like a dedicated video going over that fixing that because like the cable management it's it's quite a mess as you can see uh it could be better but the cable management up top i have sorted out uh, so all the monitor cables are cable managed i need to drill a hole through the desk because this is a different desk in case you haven't noticed there's still ikea linmon but i went ahead and combined two different desks well i guess one different desk but two well technically they're both different okay as you can see this is the seam where you know both the desks join up this is tape. I've gone ahead and like taped the desks together and then at the bottom we do actually have like some metal plates holding them. I am just joking. I didn't just tape it and like, there you go, new desk, you know. There was a gap in between. So I put tape and problem solved. But the setup is looking sick. I'm loving it. I have so many ideas. I want to put some stuff on the wall. I've ordered more nano leaf canvas panels that we're going to like try to hit the ceiling with. This is possibly their new permanent location. As for like other things right here, I've added more RGB as you've probably noticed. The drawers over here, these have RGB and they actually sync up with the setup and the PC and everything. Like everything's controlled via Razer. Even this, even that. We could even set those for Razer Chroma Control as well. But I'd have to quickly change all the light bulbs over to the same ones that I have in that light bulb. Ye Light have sent over like the light bulb and the LED light strip that I put behind these drawers but I've got some criticisms of their light strip their light bulb it's good I don't really see any problems with it in terms of latency because both of these products they're controlled via Razer Chroma but when you're doing like a spectrum cycle for example where the colors are shifting slowly it looks fine on the PC it looks fine on like that light bulb the nano leafs everything sync up apart from this ye light LED light strip I don't know if like I have a defective unit or something, but mine seems to struggle. Maybe it's our Wi-Fi because this doesn't have a hub like something like Philips Hue would have. So maybe that's why it's kind of struggling to keep up with like the latency because it doesn't seem to update the colors as often. I'll make a dedicated video about this for sure. All right, now I should probably go ahead and show you the office too. So if we walk through here, come with me. The Nano Leafs, these are still here. I don't know if I want to take them off with a wall. I might be doing that because Razer went ahead and sent over an entire pack of nano leaves right here. Basically, I think the same kit that I bought back in the day. But the plan with these nano leaves, right, is to hopefully combine all 30 of them and try to make the tech block logo out of nano leaves and then put that logo possibly above the gaming setup. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. But one thing I've already like thought about is because I have two nano leafs in that room, I'm not sure if Razer can sync up to both of them. So that's gonna be interesting. Let me know if you guys like want to see that kind of video, but I reckon trying to make the tech block logo out of nano leafs with 30 of them, I feel like it could be possible. So it is something I do want to end up trying out. Getting back to the office though, the IKEA Linmon, the two meter desk, this is still here. This is gonna probably end up going to my roommate. And I'm guessing he's going to give me the table he's using now. And we might leave that table probably like beside the mirror. Or maybe we'll like shift things around and move things around eventually. But for now, this table's going to probably go to him. It would be a cool video, I guess, to like redo his room with like this new desk. We could pimp it out eventually with like RGB. Because this desk is still good. There's already like a pre-drilled hole. You're welcome for cable management right here. So he can like run his keyboard wire through there. Assuming that he does put like his setup in the center, you know. But yeah, a lot of memories with this IKEA Linmon desk. So many gaming setups were built. 
And then up here, I recently began experimenting with like Velcro and mounting stuff beneath your desk using Velcro. You know, like double-sided Velcro and everything. I'll probably talk more about it in like a different video, but I'm doing a similar thing with the new desk using Velcro. I feel like it won't leave as big of a mess after you're done. What I'm gonna try to do, because we are nearly at 2021. So for 2021, I'm gonna try to do a cable management guide like I do, I think every single year at this point, I try to post like a cable management guide on YouTube for your gaming setup. So I'm gonna do one more. I reckon January time would be like a good time to do it. So stay tuned for an updated and improved cable management guide for your gaming setup. I reckon this next one is gonna be much, much better. I still would recommend these J channels, although the way I would stick them onto my desk, I would use Velcro instead of actual tape. All right, because these Velcro bits, they have tape already on them. But yeah, like I said, I'll explain it more in like a future video. We could say goodbye to this desk for now because you're probably not going to see me using it again for a setup. But besides that, the office has now become a gym. We have a mirror. We have the Colo lights up here. And then we have an exercise bike. Shout out to my roommate for picking this thing up. I've been on it legit like nearly every single day. I don't think I've missed a day. Uh, so every single day I've been trying to burn a couple calories, been trying to do my cardio on here. Every single morning I'm on this bike and just randomly throughout the day, I hop on it, I burn some calories. Make sure you do your exercise because like in the UK they shut the gyms down. Like I couldn't believe it. They shut the gyms down again because we went into lockdown again. Uh, so my roommate picked up a bike building a home gym. Th this is a dream honestly, but we have a <laughs> we have only one piece of equipment so far So this is the beginning of the home gym uh, Maybe one day we'll get more equipment, but for now the bike is more than enough You can burn your calories We do have some resistance bands here for like, you know doing other exercises with like, you know some bicep curls and everything and I do have one bit of news as well YouTube are finally sending me the 100k plaque. They're finally sending it, dude. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the exact date that I hit 100k on YouTube, but it was like so many months ago. Like it has to be over half a year now, like that I've waited and I've not gotten any kind of notification from YouTube saying that I can claim my 100k subscriber, you know, silver play button. YouTube was literally like the dream job for me as a kid growing up and like, I can't thank all of you enough for like watching the videos, supporting the channel, cause like this is absolutely a dream come true for me. But YouTube didn't give me a notification for so long. Well, and technically they still haven't given me like a notification in like my YouTube dashboard saying, saying like, congrats, you fit 100K subs. Here's your code to redeem the plaque. I just kind of waited and for maybe eventually, you know, they're gonna give me the code, it's just gonna pop up. I swear, like at least half a year passed, nothing happened, but I went ahead and just messaged Google support whilst I was on the YouTube dashboard. In the corner, there was like this Google like live chat. I pressed on it randomly. It said, you're like number one in queue. I'm like sick. Then a couple minutes afterwards, someone joined. I told them, I'm like, yo, I hit 100k like ages ago. Is there any way like I could get m my play button? Am I eligible? Did I like break some rules? Can I please get my play button? And thank God they said yes. Like straight away they're like, yeah, let me just have a look. Oh, you're eligible. Here's your code. It's on its way. So I'm thinking of putting the play button maybe like up here above the PC or maybe like right in the center above the monitors. I don't really know where to put it, but hell, if we put it up here, like the play button, we could maybe add some RGB to it. That was the plan originally. And up here, maybe we could do the whole Nano Leaf Tech Block logo. All right, because we have a whole load of space up here. I don't know how big the logo would be, but I feel like we can do it. All right, it's only two letters, all right? TB, I reckon we could pull it off with, with those Nano Leafs. So many updates, this setup, I'm just like, I can't stop looking at it. Mainly because of like how bad the cable management is. But at the same time, it is also like so sick. So clean, so clean that like I'm gonna get tons of comments saying, there's no personality in your setup, dude. Which, yeah, I do kind of get what you mean. It is very, very bare bones at the moment. We need to add some stuff. Anyway though, I'm gonna probably like end today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a quick update for the setup, for the room, for the office, for the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is like a whole new chapter for the room. I feel like I should have done this 
ages ago just because of how sick this room looks like now. It feels so much more complete. When there was no desk here, it felt so empty almost, but man, super happy with it, honestly. Like it turned out looking so sick. I just wanna put some stuff up on the wall. We need to hide the cables and then I need to make like a cable management guide once, once we're all done. So I'll see you in another video soon where it's gonna probably be a vlog of me fixing the cable management Walking you through it, hopefully some, some good advice, some good tips, some products that I'd recommend. In fact, the Velcro that I talked about, we'll talk about that in the next video. I'll see you then.